Hello, this is Sarah Meehan with Concentris, and today I have a short and sweet tip regarding customer deposits. So um, in particular, I've heard a lot of confusion or a lack of clarity around how customer deposits are associated with sales orders and when they are automatically applied and when they're just uh, sitting on account. So I wanted to walk through the two ways that you can create customer deposits in hopes of creating a little clarity around that distinction. So I have here a sales order and I'm going to hit create deposit. Um, actually, before I do, I will highlight one quick thing, which is that this is a, a sales order that is set to bill to a terms method. So it's a net 30 account. If I have set a payment method, say cash or a credit card, this create deposit option will not display. So just keep that in mind if you are seeing something different in your account, um, you're not seeing this button, that might be why. So I'm gonna hit create deposit. And in this instance, I'm going to apply a partial deposit. So this customer is paying partial payment ahead, and I want it to be auto applied to the invoice when it's generated. So I'm gonna enter my partial payment. And save. So by creating it from the sales order, this will automatically apply to the invoice that is generated from the sales order once it is billed. And for demonstration purposes, I'm simultaneously going to create the customer deposit from the customer record so that you can see how, that, uh, how those two interplay. So I'm going to select my American Food Distributors customer. I'm going to make another $5,000. Actually, this one I'll make $5,001 so that you can see the distinction. And save it. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna take a peek at the customer record just so we can see how these are sitting on their account. So if I look at their transactions, I can see, I'll sort by date, and I should see two distinct deposit records in their account once this sorts. Okay, so I have two customer deposits, my first one that was associated with the sales order for $5,000. My second one that was just placed on the customer account for $5,001. If I look at their financials, it looks like they have an, an old balance um, and a deposit balance too. So here's their deposit balance of $10,001. Okay, I'm gonna hop back over to my sales order now. And in this tab, um, I'm going to fulfill it so that I can bill it out. So I had previously created a fulfillment. I'm just gonna mark it as shipped. Okay, and once this updates, I'm going to refresh the sales order so that I can bill it out. Okay, I'll reload this. The deposit that I associated with this transaction was $5,000 and I fulfilled it in full. So the invoice that is generated should be for $18,750, but because I associated a customer deposit with this invoice, I should see the resulting total of the invoice being $13,750. So I'm gonna hit bill. And this would be the same whether I was billing from the transaction or using the bulk billing functionality. Okay, so once this loads, I'll see my total, which is the full $18,750, just like I expect. And then I will hit save. Now, once this record reloads, my amount due is only 13,750 because it auto applied that $5,000.
So I can look here at my related records. There's the deposit application of $5,000. So that's exactly what I expected to see based on applying the $5,000 at the sales order level. So what about that $5,001 that I created independently? In order to apply that, I actually have to process a payment. So this is really the, the point of distinction. If I create it from the sales order, it will auto apply. If I create it from the customer record as a standalone deposit, I have to manually apply it. So here I can select my open deposit, my $5,001, and then I can come back to my invoice. and apply this deposit. So now I'll save this and my invoice total will be further, or my invoice amount due will be further reduced by another $5,001, but it was a manual process. So there we go. So now I have my two deposit applications, one of which was done manually the other of which was associated with the sales order and applied by the system automatically. Hopefully that helps break down the difference between the two options. Thank you so much for watching.